Okay, play along with me for a minute. Let's say you want to take a vacation that involves amazing mountain sports like ski jumping, bobsledding, or screaming down the steepest zip line in the world. But wait, what if you wanted to do all that in the summer? Well, this group of three athletic young couples is about to do just that. They've come from Phoenix, Arizona to Park City, Utah. Rich, Kathy, Doug, Rita, Jeff, and Su Ling are about to find out that this is probably the only place you can do all of these alpine activities and more in the middle of the summer. Their home base is this beautiful vacation rental home just minutes from the historic downtown of Park City. We walked in and the huge the vaulted ceilings and the balconies and the big windows and the views, everyone's eyes were like this big. and I think everyone felt like a kid again. And we were all scurrying off to see the different parts of the house. Oh, sweet. Look at wow. that. Wow. Uh, it was great being in a professionally managed home because, you know, it didn't feel super lived in. You know, like you see the grime of other people. It's kept very clean. They give you the little soaps and the little, uh, you know, amenities that you'd expect in a hotel. It was great. Park City rests in a beautiful valley that's about a 35-minute drive up into the mountains from Salt Lake City's airport. When you say the name Park City, the first thing you might think of is that's the town where the 2002 Winter Olympics happened. The uh, Utah Olympic Park was a surprise to us. You know, we've always known it existed, but uh, we've never actually thought about, you know, what activities they might offer to the public. You got it, Rita. Everybody got to take turns learning how to jump. Probably my favorite part was when you came off the end of the ramp and you hit the water. Uh, it was just cold water, uh, air bubbles everywhere. <laughs> that was awesome. First of all, I'd like to welcome you to the top. Our group divided into guys versus girls teams to take on something you don't find in your average ski resort, bobsledding. 15 corners in a minute, 70 miles an hour. The key is good position. You hit turn number one, and you hit turn number two, you're like, whoa, okay, we're getting faster. Turn number three, whoa, turn four, you're 70 miles an hour, you're up on the side, you're looking down, you can see the bottom of the track and you're 10 feet up the wall. I was never a roller coaster person, but somehow over the years, Doug's gotten me to do pretty much everything that uh, I would have never done, my family would have never believed I would have done. Each one of Park City's three resorts has their own unique character, so you can go to any one of them and experience a totally different adventure. It's just this deep feeling inside where you're just excited, you just want to try it. It just cannot contain it. It just wants to burst out. So it's like, <laughs> That is awesome. What brought our reunion group together in the first place was mountain biking. Most enthusiasts of this sport will tell you that Park City is one of the epicenters of mountain biking in the world, really. And because it started out as a ski resort, Park City's ski lifts allow you to make most of your bike trip downhill. I was definitely the slow one. I get all the dust. <laughs> but they wait up and, we, you know, they get longer looks at the views than I did, but luckily they took a lot of pictures so I can see them later. Oh, Every one of our six Arizona adventurers are super achievers on their jobs. And they've never before gone on a vacation like this one together. But if this trip is any indication, it won't be their last one. And when they do it again, there's a good chance that Park City, Utah will be right up on top of the list when they're getting away together.